good morning students today we are going to start our new chapter the name of the chapter is my extended family dear students in our first chapter we have learned about family so who all are there in your family your father your mother and your siblings together form a family so family includes father mother and children kinds of families nuclear family joint family single parent family we have already learned about the kinds of families first is nuclear family a small family in which only parents and children stay together joint family a family it is a large family in which grandparents uncles aunts and their children all living together in a single family single parent family it is a family in which a single parent either mother or father lives with their with their children so here in this chapter we will learn about the new terms which are included in the family so first is immediate family we will learn about immediate family and the second is extended family immediate family immediate family includes people with whom we live so immediate family includes our parents means father and mother and our siblings siblings are our brothers and sisters so family members who stay with us are our immediate family our next topic is extended family so who all are present in our extended family uncles aunts cousins who do not stay in your home are part of the family so they are your extended family examples your paternal relatives your chachu chachi their kids your bua they all are your paternal relatives they are included in your extended family your maternal relatives like your mamu mami masi their kids they all are your maternal relatives so they are also included your extended family your grandparents your dadu dada dadi nanu nani they all are included in the extended family so extended family include includes your all relatives who belongs to you they are your extended family family gatherings or special family occasions the family has a very important place in our society the members of the extended family meet at various family functions so family functions are the gatherings of some special occasions so we love to meet our relatives on special occasions so we meet our relatives on special occasions like weddings birthday parties naming ceremony festivals so these are the some occasions that we all family members celebrate together we learn many things from one another from our family members first is sharing we learn sharing from our family members like you share some tables with your siblings caring we learn caring from our elders like your mother takes care you and you take care of your younger sister or your younger brother love by sharing and caring we learn to love each other next is responsibility in family we learn how to carry our responsibilities if your mother gives you a task then you learn how to do the task with responsibility belongingness to take a care of your things you take care of your things that belongs to you only like your books toys etc happiness we feel happiness when we live together 
Thank you and have a nice day.